Hello everyone, it's PCL Pehe and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix developer error code 6036 for the game Call of Duty Warzone and I'll be also showing you how to fix various DV error codes and other crashing issues with this game. So I already made a playlist on these issues for the game Call of Duty Warzone and as you can see this video on Call of Duty Warzone DirectX error is getting some decent reviews as you can see the like dislike ratio with 4000 views and it's solving problem for many users so if you're having this direct text problem then i will provide you the link of this video in the description of this video you can watch this video and get that problem fixed now let's get to the main point of this video that is develop error 6036 so the first two steps are the most important one but if after performing first two steps your problem is not fixed then watch this video till the end and perform all the work that i'm showing to you in this video then most probably your problem will be fixed so now let's get to the first step so in the first step you have to clean boot your pc it is the necessary necessary step that you have to perform before performing any further workarounds so to clean boot your pc i have already made a 2 minute 45 seconds guide on how to do so if you don't know how to clean boot your pc just watch this video i will provide the link of this video in the description of this one and you can access this video and once you have clean booted your pc then you can proceed to the further steps so now come to the second step and what i consider is the most important step for dvrs6036 because this step was the one which fixed the problem for me to you with the help of screenshot of this game so all you have to do is just go to your graphic settings in the game and once you are in your graphic settings scroll down to shadow and lighting and in shadow and lighting go to caches and shadows and cache spot shadows and disable them if you even if you are having a high end pc with 16 gb ram or 32 gb ram or high graphic card it doesn't matter you just have to disable these two things and once you have disabled it most probably your dvrs 6036 won't appear again so this is the thing that fixed this problem for you for me but if it doesn't work for you then you can proceed to the further steps now in the second step what you have to do is you have to go to your games directory where you have installed the game and once you you are in the directory you have to select all the files and not the folders just the files as you can see below main you have to start from build.info and select all the files present here and delete them permanently once you have done so you have to go to a battle.net so you have to go to a desktop shortcut of battle.net and run it as an administrator and once you have done so you will be on this screen where you have to select call of duty modern warfare and in options go to scan and repair and then the scanning will be started and it will start repairing your files so it will download all the missing files and the reason why we did this was because these errors appear mostly because you have some broken downloaded files so to remove those broken files and have complete files you have to scan and repair after deleting them so this might also fix your problem but if it doesn't then go to the third step and the third workaround is you have to go to the game settings here and once you are here in your game settings you have to go to call of duty modern warfare as i was also having black ops 4 but you have to go to call of duty modern warfare and take this additional command line argument and once you have taken this you have to write here dash d3d11 what it will do is it will tell your game to run with the help of directx 11 automatically so it's also working for many users so please try try this and if it fixes your problem then great but if it doesn't then proceed to the next step and the next step is i read this on a reddit post by one of the users that is if you are an nvidia user go to nvidia control panel then 3d settings and under global setting tab then under power management mode make sure it's on prefer maximum performance so if you are an nvidia user you right click on your main screen it's taking too much time to load for me because i'm also using screen recorder right now then go to nvidia control panel so once you are here you have to go to manage 3d settings and here go to power management mode and here uh, you have to select prefer maximum performance and once you have selected it you just have to save these settings apply by clicking here and you can try running your game and most probably your crashing will be fixed but if it also doesn't fix your problem then i've got one or two more workarounds for you so here it is so this user has written on reddit that he got a possible fix for the dvrs 6036 and what you have to do to fix this is in the main folder go to data so in the call of duty modern warfare go to data folder and again go to data and see if there is a dot raw file and if there is a dot raw file for in your game folder too you have to unpack it and rename it so it says data point double zero one so what you have to do is you have to go to your call of duty modern warfare folder and inside data go to data again and here if you have this winrar file and you have to unpack it and name it 
data point double zero one so it is also working for many users so if it works for you great and if it doesn't then you can try the last workaround last set of workarounds that is working for most of the users again so this guy posted on reddit that disabling in-game overlay worked for him so he was a radon user so he went into his amd radon software settings and in settings he went to general and in general he went to preferences and in preferences he went to in-game overlay and disable them and it worked for him but if it doesn't work for, work for you then go to the second thing he has told you have to open the game and sit in the game menu and let the shaders load before selecting warzone you have to do so so you don't have to select warzone you have to let the shaders load and once you have done it go to warzone and click on options and go to graphic settings and in graphic settings you have to limit fps 200 this should be catered to what average fps you see i think it's to limit fps spikes that might overwhelm the cpu the reason why we are performing this step is because the reason why you are having these crashing issues is because your pc uses 96 percent this game uses 96 percent of your cpu while running so if you limit fps that will use less amount of uh, percentage of your cpu and this might help with your crashing issue so if, but if it doesn't help then you have to go to shadow and lighting and turn off all shadow caches and reduce shadows to lower normal as we've done in the first step and apply these new settings and navigate back to the graphics and restart shader download once that's completed try the battle royale again so these were all the workarounds and another solution that i read in the comment section of one of my videos was that one user told me that restarting the shader download and downloading shaders every time before playing the game did the job for him that is he was face facing all the crashing issues but he tried downloading shaders every time before playing the game before playing the battle royale and it didn't crash any time after that so all you have to do is just before playing the game restart the shader download download it completely and then try playing the game so i hope one of these workaround worked for you but if it didn't write in the comment section below i look for more solution available on the internet and make a new video telling you all the solutions so thank you for watching this video if it worked for you please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day